Are you sure, dear? Okay. <laughs> oh, hello, dears. I apologize for my appearance today. I just couldn't work up the energy to get dressed. And I know you understand what that's like. Oh, but, well, I wanted to wait till tomorrow to do this, but my young production assistant, you know, my granddaughter, <laughs> she tells me that in these things, it's important to keep up a regular schedule. Well, I didn't think we had a regular schedule. I know I'm not regular. <laughs> but I wanted to accommodate her because she is so generous with her time. <laughs> yeah, she really is. Oh, very kind. Anyway, well, I wish I could say that I was suffering from having a really wild night. <laughs> But no, alas, rather than hedonism, I'm suffering from sleep apnea. Perhaps you know what that's like, too. You know, a few years ago, my doctor insisted that I have one of those sleep studies where you, you go to a strange facility, to a strange room, and get in a strange bed with wires stuck all over your scalp with a video camera pointed at you. And sleep, what? This is supposed to be a test of your regular sleep pattern. Well, of course, it took a while for me to fall asleep. Oh, but they tell me that when I, once I did, for a moment they thought that we were having an earthquake <laughs> because the windows were rattling and the ceilings fixed or swaying. But it was only me, just me. <laughs> and then later, you know, they showed me that printed out graph that like snore graph thing that showed that I really did stop breathing so often and for so long that they almost rushed in with an oxygen tank to revive me but <laughs> then I woke up still alive as you see <laughs> well perhaps some of this should help uh, well. well, I don't want to get one of those machines that blows air into you. So I trained myself to sleep on my side, which really helps with the snoring and breathlessness. <laughs> the trouble is I tend to roll back onto my back after a while. So I think last night must have been one of those nights when I spent a lot of time on my back. Oh. Well, why don't we just skip to the part where we read comments from viewers? Do we have anything to read today, dear? Just one? Okay, just one we can read. Let's see, this says, that thing you have in the cigarette holder had better be for medicinal purposes. Oh, huh. is it? My teenage grandson gave me this squashed cigarette. I figure he had it in his back pocket or something and sat on it. But he did say, here, Nana, this'll fix what ails you. So perhaps it does have medicinal properties. I wouldn't know because I don't smoke, but perhaps I should try it. <laughs> now this, this does, this is for <laughs> medicinal purposes. Well, there, there is some tea in there really. But uh, well, at my age, everything is medicinal. Air is medicinal, <laughs> but I, I can't complain at my age. <laughs> Uh, I am in excellent health for my age. I truly am. Yes, well. I did tell my young production assistant that this time she could get some credit for what she's done. I told her, put your name on a card and we'll put it out there like they do at the end of the movie. So go ahead, dear. I'll just help myself over here. 
Oh, well. Well then, so isn't she sweet? So I guess that's it for today. I hope that you're having a good day. And I do recommend you get plenty of sleep. Stay off your back. <laughs> so be safe, be happy. Cheers.